Hey everybody, this is Brian here. I'm making part two to the top 10 crying songs. Uh, this is actually probably going to be uploaded right along with the other one, even though everyone says you're not supposed to do that. Um, I'm going to. So let's uh, look at number eight, which is Hank Williams, I Can't Help It If I'm Still In Love With You. There's also a nice version of this song uh, that he performs with Anita, Car uh, Anita Carter, you know, from the, Car uh, the ever famous Carter family. I think it's also his wife's sister. Um, there's a version of him debuting it on air. It doesn't have the video, though, also for the first time. Um, and you'll know it when you see it because he introduces the debut of the song with quite a, a bit of emphasis. He says, like, you know, the only people that have heard this are the radio DJ and me and the guy who wrote it. So you should know when you hear him introduce it. Uh, this song is so painful, kind of like Black uh, by Pearl Jam that I mentioned earlier. Uh, but it's also beautiful at capturing the feeling of loss. Number nine on this list is going to be the Cranberries song, Zombie. One of the most viewed uh, songs on uh, on YouTube as a whole, I think. This is the second most viewed uh, song on my uh, playlist in terms of uh, having like 900 million views. This It's second, I think, to like Smells Like Teen Spirit on my playlist. Um, I don't know where it actually ranks, if any songs have reached a billion yet. Um, but this song had a controversial video at its time of release due to religious iconography. Uh, but what struck me a lot more was the images of the wounded child, uh, you know, and the ways that the conflict had spilled over into the streets, taking innocent lives, you know. Um, I think that the video really adds a lot to this uh, song. Um, and rest in peace, Dolores, we'll miss you. Uh, I think that it tells the story of a lot of the things that are going on in Ireland that people around the world may not have been informed about. So it's also does a good job in terms of spreading information, you know. Uh, one uh, other thing is that it's her loss, too, that I think adds a tear or two to this song uh, because she was one of the best and most successful uh, female singers and singers, period, in all of alt rock. And it makes me uh, wonder... Kind of like with Skinner earlier, it makes me tear up over the possibilities of what if the Cranberries were still around and what if we still had their music, you know? Okay, let me get on to the final song on this video. Uh, it's going to be the Blackfoot song, the Southern, you know, Southern Rock from the 70s, Highway Song. Uh, it's mainly the solo that makes me cry in this song. This song is one of the best guitar performances ever in my opinion. Uh, just one second, I'm getting a bunch of stupid pop-up ads. Uh, um, sorry about that. Anyways, I'm just headbanging and dancing so much by the end of this song uh, that I can't help but tear up, you know, whether it's tears of joy or whether the headbanging just makes me tear up by reaction. I think that this is one of the best guitar jams. It's up there with like Green Grass and High Tides and that live version of... Uh, uh, Skinner also playing uh, uh, T for Texas that was originally by Jimmy Rogers. Uh, this is one of the best guitar performances of all time, hands down. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching my list. Hopefully the next video won't be so far away in upload time. Uh, but yeah, I love you guys. I'm out.